Hello students, so uh, today I will be having a demonstration on how to get your G Suite account. So just simply type my dot city dot edu dot ph or you can also use 192.168.0.120 so this one you can use this when you are inside the school but when you're outside the school you can access it online using my.ecity.edo.ph so for sure you have your ecity account just input it, it here so uh, type your password so now normally your your G Suite account password will be displayed under here so normally it will be displayed displayed here so so don't mind my temporary password because I have already my own password so normally it will be can be found here so under G Suite is a is a combination of products of Google so under G Suite you have your Google Mail you have your Google Plus you have your Google Classroom then you also have there are several products under Google so normally you will only need to use one account so with your using that account it can be used as your email so if you are planning to apply for example you are you want to apply for a job you can use the ECC, your ECCT email as your email so that can be accessed using Gmail so after getting your temporary password so let's go so af so let's uh, let's do a login on your account using G the Gmail platform so type your credentials here so this time I will I will be using a demo account still it is still an ecct.edo.ph so my password type your password your that can be found under I uh, under the temporary password so so can be said here that welcome to your new account just click accept create a password so you need to create a new new strong password so if it is your first time make sure to change your password this is for security reason so of course you don't want somebody to access your email your email accounts so change password. Oh no, I think it was. It's not very strong. So again, it's not as. So make sure that you will input a very strong password secure password so this time it should be okay this is a very very strong so okay so here you can see that you have all this is uh, your email account so any emails you can view it here so when you compose so this will be your email account so to ch so if changing password does not show you can change your password here you can click security then the password so it will verify if it's you
So you can type your new password here. Then change password. So again, it will ask you if the password is not very strong. So normally, if your password starts with uh, if a pass if your password contain your first name or your last name, normally it will fail because a, because it require you to have a stronger password. So you can should choose another password for that so again so change your password so so i will be showing you how to change your password so this one this should be a very strong password so after changing password make sure that you have to add your recovery phone so what is the purpose of adding recovery phone and recovery email? So the purpose for adding recovery phone and recovery email is that when times that you forgot your password, you can retrieve it using your recovery phone or recovery email. So make sure that you add your phone number here and your email. So of course, your phone will not be displayed for public view. So this is a Google will not show your phone, of course. So this phone will be only used when you try to change your password. So this phone will also be used if you enable the two-step two verification. So the first step is uh, logging in using your password and the second step is uh, you will need to input the code that will that was that will be sent on your phone. So that is a two-step verification, which is more secure. So so normally I will turn off this one, so I will not enable that. So so I will have to add my recovery phone. So of course it will ask you to verify if it's you again. So that is how secure Google is. So add your recovery phone. So, so just simply, oh no, it will ask. Of course. So it will ask, it will send a code on your phone to make sure that if it is really your phone. So, so here I'm uh, I'm opening my Google Messages. So, so I have type. So this is the code that is sent back in my phone. So verify. Okay, it's verified. So we go back there. Next is to add recovery email. So of course it will verify you again if it's you. So add recovery email. So normally add your recovery your other email. So so this is my other email account. So I have input it here. So done. So so I guess that's it. So. So this is a demonstration only for on um, how to get your temporary password for your G Suite account. Then logging in your G Suite account, changing the password for security reason, then adding your recovery phone and recovery email, which can be used when you forgot your password. So, so make sure that you have added recovery phone and recovery email. Make sure that you do not skip this step. So this is very important. Again, I want to emphasize that this is very important. So I guess that's it.